Welcome to this episode of Conversation with Klana. Today's topic is why self-love is important for your business. I used to believe that there is a private life and a business life. That was at a time when I worked in a corporate job. Now I have only one life and this is all together. So I have private and business and this is one. And this is of course the reason why I want to have pleasure all the time. <laughs> and I hope you do as well. But usually people are working hard every day and it's very busy in their lives. There are so many things that demand uh, action, especially when you are a business owner. A lot of things are to do there. And then maybe you have family or a partner and then they want to have your time as well. So when do you take your time for yourself? Sometimes I have the impression it's a little bit easier for men than for us women. <laughs> Just yesterday, I had a male client and I realized again how wonderful that is that this man went for what he wants and what he needed. So he called me for a tantric massage and he was thankful to be with me because he haven't, hasn't had a lot of touch recently. So, and he just goes for it. And this is what I realized with men, they do it easier than we do it. And another thing, are you enjoying what you are doing? Do you love the, your job? Have you picked the right topic for you? That because this puts pressure on you as well. In my corporate job, I was pressured because I didn't exactly do what I wanted. This is some kind of uh, emotional pressure. I don't know how to express myself in a different way, but this is, yeah, even boredom, which it was at the end, when I was used to all these things, I was stressed by boredom. You need to think about that. But maybe this is more common than I thought. So then I took the decision to be coached. And this took a completely different path for my, for my life. So I learned to find out what was my passion. And that was not a straight way. So I needed to try out a lot of things until I came there. And I realized that I really love to coach people, to help them to find what they love to do. This is one thing. And the other thing is that they find their pleasure in their life. And pleasure is also in the sexual way so but then i was there doing the things i loved to do but i was hard working and this is due to my conditioning somebody planted here in my mind that i had to work hard to earn my money so I was sitting on my computer all day or almost all night because I'm a night owl and didn't move a lot or so. And I, it was just another quality of pressure. Maybe some things sound familiar to you. There was no time to do anything else to rest because I had to make money and blah, blah, blah. All this story that I told myself. And then I 
was really somehow like not burned out is a little bit too much but if there is nothing in you and you are drained you cannot give anybody anything to anybody else so here Ibiza to be honest the place where I am most of the time when I'm not traveling is a fantastic location <laughs> to wind yourself down and the Ibiza lifestyle had a very positive influence on me, working horse. So I adapted to this kind of life here. So in Germany, you have a saying, komm ich heute nicht, komm ich morgen. If you literally translate it, it means if I don't come today, I come tomorrow. Nobody is really on time. Sometimes when uh, there is an event or you have an invitation for four o'clock and you ask, oh, straight or Ibiza time? Because Ibiza time means you come anywhere after four o'clock, but usually not before 4.30 or even later. And this for my German mind and attitude where everything had to be straight and strict and on time. Oh, that was the first thing I had to, to unlearn. And what I think is best is to find something in between. Yeah, so going out along the seaside, taking a walk on the promenade, taking some coffee in cafes, that obvi obviously helps to unwind myself and not being stressed. Even today, I posted a, a little picture when I was in my newest uh, cafe. Here at the place, they have fantastic macarons. And sitting there with my little tiny macaroon here, macaroni, I don't know, macaroon, and my Americano, I was just working a little bit on what I'm going to talk tonight. Maybe it, lo it looks like I'm talking completely different things that I put on paper there, but this is <laughs> normal as well. <laughs> okay, but this is a totally different lifestyle than I used to live before. And also this is some kind of self-love for me. I choose to not work hard anymore, take things more easy. And then another point came up in my life when I changed my career to become a sex coach. And I heard I had to learn something to get that certificate to become a sexological body worker. The training started with a difficult task. We were thrown into 30 days masturbation in a row every day, 30 minutes. And here I was with that task. Hmm. You might think, oh, this is a funny task, a good task. Yes, it is, especially the outcomes. But on my way, all resistances popped up that you can ever imagine. I was ashamed of myself. I didn't make time, or I thought I don't have time to do this. Yeah, but we were in an online group and we had to give a report to each other. And that was really a good thing because I realized that my other fellow students had the same difficulties than I had. And we could exchange a little bit what, what are they doing, what worked for them, what worked for me, and that really, really helped. And this thing opened my world in a completely different way. So I really opened up I lost a lot, a lot of shame. I learned to love my body. I learned to not take things too seriously anymore. 
and that gave me such a self-confidence and um, hmm, how shall I say I was content with myself because I I now started to love myself and my body and with my body I wasn't content before I did that I barely touched myself and not to say that I knew how I looked like down there so that was the first time I took a mirror to explore myself. <laughs> I tell you, that was a very, very interesting time, which I don't want to miss. And I can only recommend everybody who doesn't already do this and feel totally comfortable and confident with themselves go through such a process this is really really helpful and when you are in that state of more self-confidence of self-love and now we come to the topic of our talk today then you ignite the fire in you and then you start to being magnetized or the other way you start to attract people because you are a magnet and with the things I'm doing with this topic of sexuality mainly of course I am polarizing so some people turn away completely others love it and are curious and I had to learn that too and to be honest it's a very, very good thing because now I don't need to have to serve everybody because the people who like me join me and these are the people I want to work with anyway. Before, it was really difficult for me because I thought, oh, what I'm doing is worthy for everybody. Yes, it is but not everybody fits for me. And especially not with my new attitude that I don't wanna work hard. <laughs> and when I don't wanna work hard, I need to have people I really love to work with. So it's really positive if only those people come to, my, to me to work with me. Yesterday, uh, a woman asked me, if I could talk about today what she could do to establish a daily self-care routine and what I'm doing. So and then the essential question for her was, how do you learn to love your body? This is what I just told you, that at, at least that worked for me very well. And to establish a daily routine is just do it. And my suggestion are really those 30 minutes and the 30 days in a row because we need a quite a bit of a time to change our attitudes and to change into new behaviors. And this is why the 30 days. And the good thing would be if you start masturbating, maybe directly exploring yourself without having a goal to have an orgasm. Just explore and enjoy yourself. And you can only touch yourself, nothing else. Start out with this and try to do everything something different. And then the what i or to the question what i am doing i am doing this most of the time not every morning to be honest and not very um, in variations um, but i have a daily routine which takes me in breakfast included about two hours this is why i don't start before 11 at the, in the morning so the 
one of the first things I do in the morning is meditation. I have several meditations because I like variety. I don't do always the same thing. And sometimes it's not the first thing. Sometimes my self-love practice uh, in the sense of masturbation is my first thing. So also there are variations. And then I do some uh, physical exercises and then I have breakfast. So these are my, my procedures. And you, you adapt it to your lifestyle. You can start in the morning, you can split it during the day, you can do it in the evening, whatever fits for you. And concerning the uh, masturbation self-love things, I have a gift waiting for you. So there are things on this PDF which you can start with right away. And just download it. I will give you the link here so that you can go there and subscribe for it. And if you already know that you want to work with me, let us talk. Book yourself a free discovery call and because I made some space in my calendar so we can see how I can support you. Hope to see you in the next conversation with Klana and please come with questions. I'm happy to talk about these things you are interested in. Bye-bye.